Hi everyone, Cosmic Mango here, your favourite mango from outer space. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing some budget cards that you need to try at least once in the Commander format. People seem to think that because a card is purchased on a budget, it will be weak, but I beg to differ. There are a huge amount of budget cards that excel so well in the Commander format, and I'm here today to share with you some of those powerful cards. So. Without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Number 1. Tatiova, Benthic Druid. A legendary merfolk creature that costs 1 green, 1 blue, and 3 colorless mana to cast. She has 3 power and 3 toughness and says the following. Whenever a lad enters the battlefield under your control, you gain 1 life and draw a card. Can you imagine this card said whenever a lad enters the battlefield? Full stop. Can you imagine that? That'd be so OP. But anyway, yeah, under our control only. So Tatiova is a very powerful merfolk creature. In fact, she makes an excellent commander. If you're into Simic decks that enjoy ramping up lands to cast huge splashy spells, then you should definitely give Tatiova a go. She's pretty easy to build and very, very fun to pilot. If you don't want to run this creature as your commander, she still fits snugly into a landfall deck that shares the same colours. An excellent card that can be purchased for around 50 cents. Number 2. Corrupted Conviction. An instant spell that costs 1 black mana to cast, and it says the following. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature, draw 2 cards. In my opinion, this is a very, very powerful card. If you are piloting uh, an aristocrat deck, which has the whole theme of sacrificing creatures in the first place, then this card offers fantastic help, as it will allow us to very easily draw two cards for just one mana. We can just sacrifice a token, for example, all at instant speed. Cards like these are often overlooked, but trust me, they are very, very good. You can buy this card for around 35 cents. Number 3. Halo Forager. A fairy rogue creature that costs 1 black and 1 blue mana and 1 colors mana to cast. It has 3 power and 1 toughness and it says the following. Flying. When Halo Forager enters the battlefield, you may pay X. When you do, you may cast target instant or sorcery card with mana value X from a graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that spell would be put into a graveyard, exile it instead. Okay, this card may need a lot of mana to really shine, but there are also a lot of instant and sorcery spells that are very powerful, that do not need much mana to cast. Meaning the additional X mana we need for this to work might not be too much. Please note that this card states a graveyard, meaning you can steal an opponent's card as well, if you wish. Pretty dang nice. You can buy this card for around 35 cents. Number 4. Open the Armory. A saucy spell that costs 1 white and 1 colorless mana to cast. It says the following. Search your library for an aura or equipment card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. I have spoken about this wonderful card before. This is one of my all time favorite tutors and it shines beautifully in my SRAM Voltron deck. It only costs us 2 mana and we can easily find a winning piece or just something that is incredibly powerful to help us in a sticky situation. This card fits so good in Voltron decks, it's a must if you have white in that Voltron um, commander's colour. You can't really go wrong with this card, it has won me many games and you can buy this card for around $1.20. Number 5. Rivers Rebuke. This also spell that costs 2 blue and 4 colorless mana to cast. It says the following. Return all non-land permanent target player controls to their owner's hands. This is basically a one-sided cyclonic rift, only hurting one opponent of your choice, but it's still incredibly strong. Being able to bounce an opponent's whole board back to their hand is massive in Commander, and the later the games go on for, the better the card becomes, as they will have more permanents to bounce. And if you do manage to get into the final 1v1 in Commander, you'll probably win the game if you manage to cast this card successfully. 
you can buy this card for around one dollar and seventy cents number six time of need a sorcery spell that costs one green and one colors mat to cast it says the following search your library for a legendary creature card reveal it put it into your hand then shuffle this is a very cool card that can be used rather effectively in many types of decks especially those that are running a lot of legendary creatures you can use this card to tutor for your best legendary creature or a specific legendary creature that you'll need for the current board state it only costs us two mana which is not that bad at all the only downside is it's a sorcery speed card but often it doesn't affect us too much you can buy this card for around two dollars and seventy cents number seven spring leaf drum an artifact spell that costs one colorless mana to cast and it says the following tap tap an untapped creature you control add one mana of any color spring leaf drum is actually amazing especially in decks that find it hard to ramp colors such as mono black adore this card I used to have a Yorgmoth deck and Springleaf Drum would really help me net that extra bit of mana as I had so many creature tokens on the board quite often. Uh, the fact we can produce a mana of any color is massive and it gives us a very good diversity. It can run in all sorts of decks. You can buy this card for around 40 cents. Okay my friends, that is the end of my list. Do you agree with my choices? Do you have any other recommendations you'd like to share? If so, please share it in the comment section below. It's always fun to read your comments. I try my best to answer as many of the comments I can. Thanks for watching everyone. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will help you be updated for more of my future content. As always, take care and goodbye.